Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be giving our upstairs living room a DIY makeover on a budget. I will be flipping furniture, putting together budget-friendly IKEA furniture pieces, and just maximizing the small space of this living room to give our upstairs loft a cozy, inviting, and overall brand new look. First, I'm clearing out everything in here except for our couch, which is super comfortable, so that's staying, but everything else is mostly toys and things that I went through and either moved into the kids' bedrooms or donated. This summer, I have been going room by room, decluttering, organizing, and making weekly Goodwill runs, and let me just tell you guys, it feels so good. This is our old TV console from our first apartment and this is going into my closet. It's going to be used for shoe storage and now we will have plenty of room for more functional and intentional furniture pieces to go in this space. My next order of business was to flip this electric fireplace. This thing has been with us since our first home and I most recently redid it in our master bedroom. I painted it this pretty white color, added this DIY wood piece, and I don't know, I'm just wanting to do something different with it. So today I am giving it yet another new look and I picked up these Ikea bookshelves that I will be building to go on either side of it. The idea is that all three pieces will be the same color and look like one uniform statement piece on this wall. I laid down a few layers of plastic underneath the fireplace and I brought a small piece of the IKEA bookshelf to my local Home Depot and they did an excellent job of color matching it. One of my favorite little painting tricks when I'm painting pieces inside, especially on a carpeted area like this, is to keep all of my paint supplies inside a rubber tub. This makes me feel so much more secure and that I'm not going to step into my paint or kick it over or anything like that. This always works out well for me, so highly recommend. been here a while you pretty much know my style leans very much into the white and bright aesthetic. I've never really experimented with dark paint and dark painted furniture but for the layout of this room, I felt like a dark statement piece would really help to break up the long white wall that goes all the way across and down the staircase, and I think it'll just make this loft really feel like its own space. Because it is a loft, we also get a ton of natural light in here, so I wasn't concerned that the dark color would make this room feel too small. Plus, I think it's so fun experimenting with new things and turning old pieces of furniture into something new, so this process overall was just really fun. I'm so 
excited to be working with Biodeem again for today's video. Several months ago, I received the Biodeem toaster in this gorgeous, cozy, greenish shade. We have the two slice option, but it does come in the two slice and four slice size, and it comes in three very stylish colors. I love when I can find a good kitchen gadget that also doubles as pretty kitchen decor as well. My favorite parts about the functionality of this toaster is the reheat setting, which is amazing for any busy parent. We love the high lift lever, so it's easy to grab things out without burning any fingers. And for bagels and English muffins, we place the cut side facing in, set the toaster to bagel English muffin, and the cut side comes out toasted, while the uncut side is warmed but not overly toasted. It really is the best toaster we've had in both style and function. So since I love our toaster so much, I decided this time to pick the Bydeem Mini Kettle Cooker, and this thing is so adorable. I love the size of it as well. It's perfect to travel with. You can take it to an office, you can take it camping, and it's also a great size for easy storage and cleaning. I've been on a huge tea kick lately, and since we don't have a microwave, instead of using a big pot to heat my water like I was doing, I can now use my mini kettle cooker and I love that I can keep it when I'm working upstairs or in my office I can get about two cups out of this so while I'm drinking the first cup it's keeping the tea warm and ready for my next one this is super lightweight and easy to store, so it would be the perfect thing to bring camping. It has three temperature modes and three cook time modes, so aside from making teas and beverages, you can also cook soups, hard-boiled eggs, and even noodles in here for pastas and soup. It will keep your food and water warm for eight hours, and I love the filter on top to easily pour out my tea, and it has the liquid level markings on the side, which is super helpful. Obviously, I am a huge fan of Bydeem. I love the aesthetic. Their products that I have work so well and I am just so happy with them. So I will leave everything that I showed here linked down below. Make sure you head on over and check them out. And thank you so much to Bydeem for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so here is my newest vintage furniture piece. I love an old cabinet and this one just had such good bones. It was very unique. Um, it was obviously painted white with some yellow. I want to paint over the yellow just because it's not really my style, but I do like the shapes. And this one is raised up on the piece. These were just painted into it. So I think I'm just going to paint over it with a new color. And then we're going to change out the hardware. I don't know if this was used... Um, in a children's room or something, but it was from a bed and breakfast from the 1900s. So really, really cool. I love it. It does kind of have that old furniture smell. So I'm just going to be cleaning it with some soap and water. And yeah, then we will paint it, change out the hardware and give it a whole new look. This is going to be a really fun piece to bring upstairs for just more storage up there. I'm going in with some warm, soapy water and cleaning this entire piece. I love the character that old furniture brings to a home, but sometimes it just has that musty smell that is not so great. So after I cleaned it out and let it air dry, I added a scented gel bead air freshener that really helped take that musty smell out. So I I just kept it in there for about a day and now it smells much better. I love when I find a piece of furniture that has the old vintage wheels on it. I think it just gives it such a cool look and my little helper clearly does too. Next, I removed that Moon hardware, which was definitely a choice from the previous owner, and now we are ready for some paint. 
My plan here was to follow the existing pattern and use painter's tape so I would have really crisp, sharp lines, but as you will see in a minute, the painter's tape was not exactly the best idea, so I just went in and painted it by hand, which like I said, took a little bit longer, but also it took away the stress of removing more of that white paint, which I was able to go in and touch up with some white chalk paint, so it turned out fine, but yeah, you just never know what is going to happen when you do a furniture flip like this. So, you know, you just have to be ready for anything. I will link the shade of gray chalk paint that I used down below, but while the first coat dries on this cabinet, I will be heading back up to the loft to build my IKEA bookshelves. I purchased two of the Lom Arp bookcases. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but I will have it linked down below. And these are from Ikea in the color dark blue green. I really loved this color, which again, I was surprised because normally I'm all about the white light colors, but I don't know. I think it's fun to try something new. So I love this shade and I wanted to create a built-in look along this wall. And these two were the perfect size to fit this space to go on either side of my fireplace. Since this is a small area, the dark bookshelves will draw the eyes up and also provide a lot of storage and visual interest to this wall. I decided to remove my DIY fireplace cover that had just been attached to the glass with double-sided tape and aside from needing to touch up the paint in that area, I really preferred this look and was so happy that the faux fire effect still worked after all these years. And to tie in all the colors and really ground the furniture pieces together, I found an area rug from Home Goods for only $49.99. I love the look of the black, gray, and white medallion pattern, and it really feels like such a soft, good quality material. And since I only needed a 5x8 size for this space, the price was extremely affordable. making room for my antique cupboard to go along this wall that is right on top of the stairs before you turn into our loft area. This will provide much more storage than the piece that was there before and I just love the look of it. I found this vintage looking knob at Hobby Lobby for 50% off. Their knobs are so affordable and they have an amazing selection. And I thought this one would complement this piece beautifully. So here's the cabinet now that we moved it upstairs. It was so heavy by the way, but we got it up here. This is with three coats of that chalk paint and then I went over it with a clear wax seal. And I really like the color. I love how it turned out. This is the little hardware pull, which I think is just so stunning. Totally transformed the look of this piece. I have not styled it yet, but I plan on just storing some of the kids' toys and books and games and things in here, maybe putting a sign on top. So I'll show how I styled it in a future video. But yeah, I just love how this piece turned out and it's going to be so functional here. 
I found two wall sconces at Ikea to go above each bookcase. I love the gold and white globe look of these sconces and I think they are really going to complement this gold mirror that was originally almost $75 from Kirkland's that I got off of Facebook Marketplace for just 30 bucks. I've been holding on to this for a while to find the perfect spot and I think it's going to be really great above our fireplace here. I wanted to get some new pillows for this space and I loved these four that I found from Home Goods. Two are this beautiful sage green with this very soft velvet material and then the pattern on the other ones are just so pretty and they tied in all of the other colors that I had going on in here and new pillows always just make your space feel so much more cozy. I love to hit up the clearance section at Home Goods when I'm looking for pieces to style on my bookshelves, and I thought this cat would be a really unique and cool bookend. And it was on clearance for only $12. It had a little damage that I was able to cover up with brown paint. This basket was also on clearance, and I love that the fabric can be removed if you want. I think for now I'll keep it in, but the black iron pattern would be beautiful on its own as well. For the rest of the decor, I shopped my home, and I'm also using these shelves to store a lot of my books. This garland is from the Harry Potter collection at Pottery Barn, and I thought it would look really cool here and tie in well with the gold mirror right next to it. I'm sticking with a very neutral, cool tone with browns and gold and copper accents, which will just help all of the pieces on these shelves flow together very nicely. For my books that have different brightly colored bookcases, I usually just flip them around so all of like the white pages are displayed and this just makes it so all of the various colors don't clash and make the area feel too busy. love how this space transformed. It feels so cozy and really makes a statement to our upstairs level. It's going to be so much fun to decorate and show this area more now that I feel like it's pretty and I can decorate it seasonally. I'm getting so excited for all of the fall content that will be coming to my channel very soon. So if you enjoyed this video and love decorating, especially seasonal decorating, then I hope that you will subscribe subscribe to my channel and stay tuned because I have a ton of decorating inspiration coming at you very shortly. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you in my next one. Have a great day.